What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm in Birmingham today for Body Power Expo and I'm just getting ready. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and meet Sophie. But uh, this video, I just thought I was going to do it today because uh, I've got a bit of time. Um, it's one that I haven't, it's one that I have wanted to do for a while, but I just didn't know how to kind of go about doing it. And also almost worried about what people will think um, in a way. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking, you know, do you still do bodybuilding or why don't you do bodybuilding training anymore? And why did you start, um, why did you become a crosslifter? Why did you start doing some more crossfit uh, training rather than just bodybuilding? And um, honestly, for some of you that don't know, I've done bodybuilding training for over 10 years. Um, there was one point, it was December, um, I think 20, 17 um honestly like i was so I've, I've i've gone through battles of you know in terms of mental health and just being um down on myself and it was not heavy depression but you know i was slightly depressed you know things going on with my family in in my life in general so um what i found was you know, when I started bodybuilding training, I loved it. And then it got to the point where I did shows and I started to not enjoy it anymore. Um, it got to the point where every day I'll go to the gym and I'll train for two, three hours, twice a day. Um, and then I'll look in the mirror and still not be happy with the way I looked. And I was always criticizing myself. Um, it, I literally will wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and go, this looks rubbish, your shoulders is too small, you know, you're not in proportion, you're fat. Um, and, you know, stepping on stage was something that was just not what I enjoyed as an introvert. It just wasn't something I enjoyed. I forced myself to do it three times. And uh, the th third time I did it, I was like, this is not for me. I just wasn't enjoying it as much as everyone else was. Um, and. I just stopped enjoying training. I stopped enjoy enjoying what I was doing before. You know, I love training. Training was something that I enjoyed doing. And the last three years, um, so about 2015, 16, 17, I started to become very negative about myself. Um, people would tell me I looked great and I would turn around and say, well, not really, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Um, and I didn't realize I was doing it until, um, like I said, it was December uh, 2017. And it got to the point where every time I followed people that I looked up to, I would just feel depressed and compare myself to them. Why am I not as good as them? Why don't I look as great as them? Um, and my training, I just wasn't enjoying it anymore. So um, first time I started CrossFit was uh, with my uh, friend Craig Ritchie. We did a, you know, bodybuilder does crossfit for the first time video and i was like wow this is insane i couldn't keep up you know and i was intrigued i was like i really want to do this 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 looks awesome um and that was how it happened you know this was a, a year and a half ago uh, or probably even more almost two years i think it was a bit about a year six months um and that passion came back again you know uh Let's, I want to actually put this out there. I still do bodybuilding training. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, for me personally, I found that with with bodybuilding training, I was doing it for the wrong reasons. I was doing it, I mean, yes, to look good, but um, I just was always negative about myself. Um, and it just wasn't healthy, you know? So um, now that I mix my training, I, I absolutely love training now. My passion is way up there. For me, it isn't about how I look anymore. Like I don't wake up and look in the mirror and go, "Oh, I don't look aesthetic." Nah, I don't look in. I don't wake up and look in the mirror and look at my physique and try and see, you know, um, what I need to improve on, you know, things like that. For me, it's how can I get better at this workout? How can I go faster? How can I be quicker? How can I be stronger? Um, how can I improve my mobility? Uh, and that for me is such an awesome feeling and the best feeling in the world for me now is 
sharing my passion with everyone else, with you guys watching this video and getting you to try the workouts. You know, as you see my videos when I train with other people from the bodybuilding industry, getting them to do some Metcons and seeing how much they hate it, but how much they enjoyed it. For me, that's what I love. I love now making people smile when they watch my video and make people look forward to training. Um, I feel like now I want to be that person that would make you be passionate about training. I don't want you to look at me and not like the way you look. I don't want you to look at my body and my physique and compare myself to you, to the way you look like. Um, I want everyone from different walks of life, I want men, women, you know, teenagers, inexperienced, experienced to watch my channel and go, wow, this is motivating. I want to train like that. Um, I felt like I wasn't doing that enough on my social media. I felt like all I was doing was look at me, look at me, look at my body, look how great I looked. And hence why I completely changed the way I put out content. I try as much as possible not to just focus on, you know, selfies of just myself, selfies of my body and, you know, saying things like, oh, you know, when I'm clearly lean and going, oh, I'm fat, you know, I, I used to do that a lot. and. It was 100% true in my head, you know, I would look lean in pictures and still say I was fat. And then everybody will be saying, oh, I really want to look like you. I really want to look like you. And I'm thinking, I still look fat. You know, when you're constantly negative about the way you look, that is not the sign of a healthy lifestyle. And that was what, you know, I was going through. Um, and competing was, I was just depressed all the time. I wasn't happy. Um, I lost a lot of friends because I just was in a bad mood constantly because I wasn't eating right. Uh, and it just was not. And, you know, I think I got to the point where I thought, I'm doing all this for what? What am I doing this for? I'm not even happy anymore. Um, so hence why I made the change. And now, honestly, like, this sounds cheesy, but I can't stop smiling. And I feel like if I didn't branch out and try a different type of training you know god knows where i'll be by now god knows what i'll be doing i almost quit social media like i've said to you guys before i just found the pressure too much i found the pressure to be perfect was just too much and now i don't care about that for me it's just all about having fun with training and that's what fitness should be about you know you should have fun i'm not saying you have to do crossfit if you do bodybuilding Ask yourself, are you enjoying the training you're doing? If you are, that's awesome. But I find a lot of people are constantly comparing themselves to everyone else in terms of their body. Remember, you are unique. Don't compare yourself to another person and want to look like them. You will never do that. You you know, you would never look like me. I would never look like you. Our bodies are, you know, in our bodies are created so differently. Um, and I obviously didn't think like that till you know, about a year and a half ago. So this was the main reason for me doing this video. It's just, it's just, I just felt like I'll get it out there, like my personal diary, because I don't do these a lot, a, a lot because um, sometimes I'm a bit worried about sharing my feelings, but I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I hope this kind of clears up why um, I kind of stopped 100% bodybuilding. I stopped doing stage shows. Um, it just isn't for me. You know, I understand if a lot of you, that's your goal. And that's awesome. There's absolutely not wrong, nothing wrong with that. But I always say, ask yourself, if you're not happy, if you look shredded, if, you look, if you're in the best shape of your life, like I was, but you're not actually even happy, what does that say? You know, and um, that was where I was, you know, and it, it just wasn't a, a, a fun experience. So now it's... It's why my outlook on, on even life in general is so different now. Uh, I try as much as possible to be positive. I try as much as possible to uh, put as much content that you guys will enjoy um, and get so much out of it. And I'm trying to be more consistent with my content as well. So hopefully this clears up a lot of um, questions that a lot of people have been wondering, you know, why um, I train like this. And a lot of people will be probably wondering, you know, how did he get so big? If he just does CrossFit, I didn't. I used to do bodybuilding and I only just started CrossFit. I say only, I've probably been doing it for almost you know two years. Um, and also one more thing is with the way I train, I also do strength and conditioning work. 
and I do a lot of mobility. It's not just CrossFit. That's why I call myself a cross lifter. Um, I do all spectrum of training, which is which is pretty much what CrossFit means. But um, I do some sports specific training as well now, and I absolutely love it. And I need I didn't used to do that before. Um, a lot of people say, do you want to do CrossFit professionally? No, because I don't want to lose size. I am a big guy. And if I want to be more efficient, I need to lose a bit of size. But I don't want that. My goal is to keep my size and move well, be efficient, be quick, you know, be strong. And I want to convey that message to all of you out there. You know, you don't have to pick one or the other. You don't have to lose size just because you want to do more conditioning. Uh, or do some Olympic lifting. Work with what you have, which is what I do. Um, gymnastics is a weak point of mine, but I'm working to fix that. But at the same time, I don't put that pressure on myself because I don't have any pressure on myself. I'm just doing this for fun. So my main thing for all of you watching this is enjoy your training. Please, please enjoy the training. Enjoy the dieting. If you feel unhappy, or if, you're, if you don't look forward to training, that's a bad sign. So think about this. If you go to the gym and you don't look forward to training, if you're bored, if you're unhappy, if your diet sucks and you just don't enjoy it, that's not, that's not the way you want to live. You want to be able to do this forever. So find something that you would enjoy doing additionally to your training. Try new things, try different things. That's what Break the Mold is all about. Try something different. Try and add something different. You know, maybe do some Pilates, maybe do some yoga, maybe, you know, go for a swim every uh, once in a while, you know, go for, go for outdoor training every once in a while, try some calisthenics, try some strongman training. Um, don't pigeonhole yourself to one thing. If you don't, if you're finding that you're bored or you are finding that you're lacking motivation, try something different. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's kind of, um, I just wanted to pour out everything that I was thinking in my head. I'm sure I've missed out a few things, but if you have any more questions, leave a comment below. I hope this video clarifies why I changed the way I train. And um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it feels so awkward doing it, but this is awesome. I'm gonna do a lot more of these and I'm gonna do more about my nutrition and how I mix my training. I'm gonna do another one. I've done one before, but I'm gonna explain how I do my training now. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.